Welcome to Jack Fleming Artistry. I'm Jack Fleming. This is What's Going On in the Art Studio, Episode 10. All right, I just got finished doing the black lettering here on the grill of this Bronco that was brought in this morning. Let me show you what else it is that I have going on here. I am going to be doing some cleanup, paint correction, whatever you want to call it. I ran my tape here. You can see the tape from the painter that did this. Uh was a little wonky so we're gonna come back straighten that up same thing up on the top part got stuff like that all the way around the grill we're also gonna be doing some cleanup around the letters here um, not a whole lot but like you can see that D there it's just a little wonky so gonna be doing cleanup on that stuff so I've also got the hubcaps for this that I'm gonna be doing the letters on and then the rings on these in black and I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera on that and talk to y'all about what's been going on and what's coming up while we sit there and get some work done. I look back and notice that the last video that I put out of what's going on in the art studio was in October, right before I left for Cruising the Coast. So it's been a little while. Uh, Cruising the Coast was an absolute blast. It's a week long. If you guys haven't been, you really should go to Cruising the Coast. Uh, really, really cool show was there staying with a friend of mine and working while I was there set up inside the Coliseum there met a lot of really cool people um did a whole bunch of cars and stuff and hit the road and came back really looking forward to next year kind of part of me going this year to that was to set up a lot of connections and stuff to make future years at cruising the coast better I since then done rat rod tober and mckinney as far as working at car shows and they're painting at the shows and then uh selling merchandise and stuff as well see a lot of you guys there appreciate those that follow and come up and say hey uh born free texas huge motorcycle show um after that one we did fort worth volks folks had pistons and paint and most recently i was set up at turkey drag which is one of my favorite shows here in Texas. Between being on the road so much with car shows, which the fall season is usually the busiest season for me with that, and then also doing shop calls and working on stuff that's brought in here to the shop, it's been super busy. And I feel like, I guess regretfully, that I've kind of dropped off on making these videos and stuff for y'all. And I find that a lot of people really like them. I actually had people at Turkey Drag and a couple other shows ask me, when's the next YouTube video coming out? So part of what's going on in the art studio is, other than being really busy and being really far behind, I'm trying to come up with a better system for time management. All right, so got the lettering done on these, but I need to do the rings on here. I'll show you what it is I do for that. I actually use my shop tool. Back here so y'all can see this. Get it cranked up so we don't have to bend over so far. So I'm gonna set these on here when I paint and I'm just gonna sit here and turn it. So I'll get that all set up and ready to go and we'll film that and uh keep moving along. Trying to give you guys some good dialogue here as well as some good instruction. I promise I'm trying to get better at uh my filmmaking here hopefully it's not too uh adhd for y'all on the time management subject it's really apparent to me how much i enjoy doing these videos you'd almost say that making videos is my hobby and painting and making art and stuff is what my job is but i want to keep making these videos and i want to keep making them better and there's been a lot of time spent recently while working on other stuff and trying to play catch up um thinking about the best way to go forward with the YouTube channel here, um, with the videos so that I can continue to be more consistent and make the kind of footage and stuff that people like, or I guess the kind of content that people like, but not just making stuff just because people like it, but genuine content that deals with what it is that's going on here in the art studio, what kind of stuff I'm doing, learning, and what kind of skills and stuff I can share with y'all and hopefully find ways to make it a little bit more exciting. Unfortunately, recently I've kind of put aside making videos and stuff, or at least put aside editing them. I have a lot that need to be edited. Just because I've been behind and trying to play catch up, doing a lot of shows, um, 
but I do have some thoughts on how to make that better for next year. All right, I will spare y'all having to sit here and watch me do this three times on four different rims, but I'll show you what I'm doing. Load my brush up. Again, this is just black one-shot paint. I have put a little bit of hardener in it. That way it'll bite a little bit better. And I've also put uh, a little bit of troll on it so that it'll level out a little bit more. So I got my brush loaded up. What I'm finding, I sat here off camera and did one so I get my technique down for y'all. I'm putting one finger in this channel here. I know when I get out to this last one, I'm probably just going to have to put it in the edge there. But put it in that channel to keep me on track as far as my hand. As I spin this, I've got the brush pushed up against one side of that channel, and that's all I'm focused on. If i got to come back on that other side, I will. This isn't the fastest thing in the world, but it works. I have found that this little stool here is really good for this kind of stuff. It's kind of part of that catching y'all up on what's going on in the studio. I put a video out a little while back of me doing a little pinstripe on a set of wheels. That's got more hits as far as a reel on Instagram than anything I've ever done. It's hit over a million think prior to that one of them got like 300,000 views so pretty crazy but again just going through focused on one side of that well, black's a little challenging as far as getting the mixture just right I don't want it too thin I want it on here but as thick as I can get away with doing have better flow if I have my paint thinned out more, but I'm worried about coverage here. Not as worried about flow. Okay, so I just made it back to where I was. Now, load my brush up again. And where that time, I was watching that edge of this groove. This time I'm going to watch the outside edge of it and go back around. So, two times for three rings on four rims. I'll have y'all sit here and watch me do it on one and then we're gonna call that. As far as video is concerned, I'll show you what they look like when I'm done. I've got my left hands just up underneath the uh, stool here spinning around. Probably can't see it in the video. I did put a little bit of tape on my hubcap, hold it in place so it wouldn't jiggle around on me. I think we're close to being done. Mm, not quite, but almost there. done when it looks right right I think that might be it I'm gonna go through see if there's anything that needs some touch up little area there looks like it needs a little touch up My first ring needs a little touch up right there. Do that before I move on. I don't want my paint to dry too gratefully long before putting another coat on it because if it does it'll end up having a line where the edge of the one coat is. All right, 
off to do that last one and then uh, three more of these hubcaps. Unfortunately, uh, right after doing the part that I'm showing you guys in this video of me doing that kind of paint correction up front, I ended up having some customers come in. So I didn't get too much more footage other than this part here. Got a couple pictures I can show you guys of the finished front end on this. But with the customers coming in and the time that they ended up taking, I totally completely forgot to take pictures of the back and couldn't take video footage of what was going on there because I was talking to them while I was working. Um, I am planning some more videos coming up. I definitely want to be more consistent with all of this. I've got a lot of cool stuff to show you. But here's a couple of those last pictures. And until next time, you guys have a good day and keep your brushes wet. If you're still watching this video, you must be a big fan of the channel and realize that we don't just paint signs like the one I got going on in the background here and pinstripe cars and stuff, but we also make apparel. Right now I've got some hoodies on the website. It's cold here and it's probably cold where you are, but uh, go check these out. They help support the channel. They help support me and my family, keep the business going and trying to grow an apparel line here. So if you guys have any comments that you'd like of things that you think I should make for shirts, hoodies, you know, designs and stuff that you'd like to see, let me know. Something you guys think would be cool that other people would like on a shirt or hoodie. It's kind of all about having a community, I guess, and being part of it, an identity that works along with that. Maybe it's art, maybe it's pinstriping, maybe it's signs, maybe it's hot rods. Whatever you're into, let me know. Like to make stuff that you guys would like. Uh, check out one of the other videos that pops up. Have a good day.